My name is Kazuya Takashi. I'm teaching English and Literature and Social Studies at Kogaku University Junior High School and High School. My life has been blessed with good teachers, so I wanted to pay it forward towards the next generation. And I learned instructional design and the cognitive science. And I started learning how to teach based on science. In Japan, every student is evaluated based on tests. There's lots of tests, you know, I can't tell, it's countless, you know. Even elementary school kids, they have to take a test every, almost every month. A test score is everything. Learning should be tangible, you know, you should create something, you know. It's not just like test scores. You have to learn something through making something. Students good at la using language are appreciated because they feel they are smart. But, you know, Lego can be their tool instead of language. They can express their thought, their heart, through making Legos to find out students' different kind of talents. I introduced the project management system to school, but it's difficult to learn project management. Just, it's, it's very abstract, right? So I, um, I taught kids, you can learn project management with Lego. So I made a, a group of five, five or 10 students, and then they created, hey, you guys make a gymnastics, you guys make a main building, you guys make a chapel. So they worked together, hey, and they made a schedule. Hey, what, what is the due date? You know, they started working on it together. You know, they talking a lot. Of the, we had lots of communication. They, they are really responsible. I'm responsible. I'm working on this. Do any of you guys need help? I have a, you know, I'm free time. You can, you know, students just started working independently. That's wonderful. And then also I use ICT. That means I can be connected with students for 20, 24 hours. It has an application called Edomodo and that can have a chat with Mr. Takahashi, and it is very useful. So if they have a question after school, I can quickly respond to them. Hey, this is your this is answer, and we can talk it later. All teaching style is just lecturing students. Sit down, be quiet, I'm teaching. We have to be still like this. <laughs> but it's like, it's not fun, you know, it should, make, it should have a fun in class. So it's like, I made a group of students, you know, hey, you guys discussed this matter in a topic, you know, we, I, I gave them a trigger question. It's like a, a theme is what is English? It's like, Eng what is English? You know, you guys, you guys have learned English for three years, you know, then at the topic is what is English? It's boring. It's like, so you change the topic, what is language for you guys? So is language innate or not? And then we say, okay, so what is the difference between language, between human beings and a chimpanzee. And then we kind of discuss, does a chimpanzee you know, speak language? And then we kind of talked about it. <music> Students are not familiar with nothing to the King Jr. So I said, hey, is, it, is there any discrimination in Japan? And then I told students, you know, there is actually discrimination. We, and then I saw the uh, kind of banner at the soccer stadium. It says only Japanese, hey, this is Discrimination, right? Discrimination is not just like for foreigners. You guys discriminate each other, right? That's made, that leads to bully. So we still think. So I ask the students, hey, you guys, this topic, you guys have to produce some kind of drama that that kind of advocate and stop doing stop doing bullies, you know, <laughs> in a school. Their you know, understanding just went up. Japanese students are very dependent on something just like reputation, company's name. They have to follow some kind of specific track. They are always looking at the Japanese specific value system. They are always looking for University of Tokyo in you know, the peak of pyramid. So they are always following good school, good company, good education. I would like to focus on young kids because even junior high school kids already looking for a company's name. I can be a scholar, I can teach a lot of things, and then I can facilitate to students, I can facilitate discussion, I can facilitate a group, um, group work. But last one, I need to produce students. Students are always evaluated in the school, within the school. But this world is very wide. あの、
っていう部分があります。はい。If I need to work with like in the world, I think I need to know about、um, uh, many cultures. And like, be worldwide with my heart and with my brain also. Yeah, I think that is very important. I wanted to get students get out of school. They can show their ability in this this in this real world. So I thought Lego Space Elevator can be a good tool. I can introduce my students to university professor, or I can take my students to JAXA and have a lecture from a command space astronaut or commander. That inspires students' heart. You know, hey, this is real world. I can, I'm learning space. これからの世界を変えられる爆発力を持った教師。After teaching eight years, I realized just teaching on 21st century scale or teaching kind of active learning is not good. It's not enough for <laughs> students. I have to teach her heart to serve others. Be empathetic with others. We work with a social entrepreneur in Indonesia and a,、um, high school kids over there. They have a task. They have to find out how to clean up the village. This real, just reality, this real problem. They are learning some kind of thing through work, actually working in the field. Then they are learning how much they are blessed in Japan. That they just feeling. What should I do? What can I help others? You know, what can I use? What I learned for others, and then they find out a solution to clean the village and educate and enlighten villagers and empower you know, housewives at the village. They became mature. They became very mature. They are so engaged. And then at school, I know them. You know, they just study a little bit, and after school, they just play games. It's like,、oh, totally different. Then I, I saw it. I then when I asked my students, why why do do you guys you know work so much? They's like I'm responsible for this project. I'm 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 doing this. They I'm controlling you know this project. I'm like ah、oh, they are they are just they are holding their the stairs of their lives. You know they are controlling actually their lives and they are independent. They are responsible what they are doing. When I'm senior, I want to go to Indonesia or like poor country and save save a little children, and I want to give their smile. Before going to Indonesia, I didn't know why I'm learning, but now I I know why I have to learn. What the student said has really shocked me. Stop it! Sayo.